All right, guys, we got George. George is manager here at Headlines. New Tampa. New Tampa. He's a very successful barber out here in Tampa, man. He's doing his thing. And I'm excited to have him as our first ever featured barber from Headlines. What you doing today, bro? He uh, he's going to get like a mid-high skin fade, number four on top. He's going to keep the beard length. We're just going to shape it up and make it as crispy as possible. All right, bro. Let's do it. Cool. First of all, he doesn't get the C cup, so I'm just gonna dig right into that temple area and I'm just gonna take it all the way back with a slight little drop in the back. My first guideline. I like to create my first guideline and just make sure I clean everything out. I like to work real clean. So what I'll do here is I'll just start flicking out before I get to the first guideline. You go up like pretty close to the... Yeah, I get pretty close because I'm going to go over it again with the trimmer and then I'll fade that line out before I start stacking all my lines. You didn't cut the top down first, did you? I didn't, no. Okay, is there a reason why you do that? Nah, it's just preference. So what I'll do is I'll stack my lines and then I'll do the top. Okay. Cool. And then I'll start fading down. So what I'll do now, since we did the trimmer line, we're going to go ahead and just go open with our Andes Masters. About an inch up. Sometimes a little more, depending if I want to stretch it out or not. I'll go ahead and I'll know that from here up, I'm just going to make sure I use that number four. And then we'll just start blading down. So technically what I do is I stack up and I just fade down. That's kind of the technique that I use. That way, like when I'm fading, I'm blending this line out. I don't have to make sure that I stay under. I got enough space to know that I'm not going to take the fade up higher. So I just start blending down. Number four right here. Make sure I'm always combing the hair down. Is there a reason why you switch to the seniors and then the masters and stuff? Uh, personally, I don't have a number four on my Andis Masters. <laughs> That's just the only reason why. You know, I started off with the seniors, um, never wanted to use the Andis, and I just started using them one day, and I felt like my page just it took another step up, so I just never went back. Another trick I like doing, I'll get my number two guard after using the number four, and I just kind of go down with it. Same thing, like when I'm going against the grain, I feed it, and then when I'm going with the grain, I make sure I'm laying whatever I can down. Some people say it might be pointless to me, man. It's the little things. So now we're just gonna work our way all the way down, and I'm just gonna start coming at an angle right here with my three and a half. And what guard is that? Three and a half? Three and a half or, yep. Three open. open, guys. Three open. Three and a half or three open. And then I'll just go ahead and close it. So I made sure I was up here. Now we're just gonna work our way all the way down. And we're gonna do that all the way down. Swap guards now, number two. Anytime I go down to the number two, I switch from my comb to my brush. Cause I feel like the hair starts to get a little, you know, shorter and thinner. So make sure we start using number two. Still coming in at an angle. Each time you go, just make sure you're going further and further down. I'm gonna go ahead and close it. Number two all the way closed. Number one, all the way open. And now we're really starting to attack that line that we left with the half. That's what I like about the masters that get that one yeah. half going, man. Yep, and as I start to get closer to the guidelines, I start to really make sure I'm focusing to detail. So instead of going from half to open, I'll go from half to like right in that middle, that middle notch. And obviously I'm pretty sure, you know, I'm gonna get to a point where I'm gonna feel like I have to open up again. So anytime I start getting here, I'll start opening and closing, but making sure that I stay in the same patterns that it's kind of like right here, I see a little bit. So I just go back up to that middle notch. And I just make sure, and I, I honestly, when I'm cutting, like I'll keep an ear out. If I don't hear it cutting, then I'm, I know I'm good. Knock it down a little bit more. We're gonna go to the zero guard all the way open. Same thing, we're just gonna stay there. Even if we feel like we're not cutting anything, there has to be some piece of hair in there. I feel like that's gonna get cut. So same thing, get to that middle. I always tell people, even if you can't see it, trust the system. Yup. 
So we're at the middle now, we're just gonna go all the way down. But as we get here, I start to go real lightly now. I wanna make sure that, you know, I really don't dig into like that one, one and a half, two. So I'm just gonna go real lightly right there and stay on that line. And see, I just opened it up a little bit. And then, like I said, like this spray here is, this is gonna be my contrast. Now, what I do is I'll, I'll meet the fade, I'll connect it. So instead of going half, putting the notch there, and, and in the middle, now I'll focus on this line. So what I do, that was the trimmer line. Now I'll go right here, now I'm gonna go up. Yeah, I like to fade like that a lot. Yep. Fade down and then fade up, meet it in the middle. And then meet it in the middle, and then I'm just gonna detail with that. If, like you said, it lets you control the contrast. Right. So what I do a lot of times is I'll go zero, and I'll put it like half of half, and then all the way open, and then I'll use this notch, like that second and that fourth notch, I'll use it for my detailing. So we just hit the zero, and go back to that half right there, that middle piece. And this is where I, I like to say, like it starts to look sloppy because we ain't, we ain't detailing yet. And then from here, we're gonna use that fourth and that second notch, strictly just for detailing. And we're gonna start listening and stepping away from the fade, coming back to it, brushing, making sure it's clean. And really, at this point, it's really about just playing with open and close, open and close. You'll constantly see me just closing, going down, opening, going up. So I'll go ahead. So I'll go ahead and leave that right there. We did like pretty much half the back already. Yep. And then I'll go ahead and. You know how some people do both the sides. And then they do the back? Yeah. You do like half of the back and the yeah, side. Yeah, pretty much. It's just something that works for me. I mean, I can fade in a lot of different ways. George, what do your appointment slots look like? Um, I run on 30 minute slots for haircuts and 45 minutes haircuts with beard. For me, um, I feel like I consider myself, I, I cut real fast. So he can be in and out haircut and beard in like 30, 35 minutes. You're just trying to get all the money you can, you know, try to fill up every slot. But I feel like this is a, the industry, man. You can be in for a long time, so you just gotta make sure that you you take care of yourself. It's like playing sports, Balance, man. Right? If you don't, if you don't take care of yourself, man, nobody will. Obviously, back to school, you know, it's time to turn it up. Yep. Holidays, it's time to turn it up. Yep. Sometimes, but, you know, I'm in here every day around like nine o'clock. We open at ten. Just get in when I can get in, get that early money. You think that's important to, to, to be as available as possible? I try to be as available as possible. I mean, if I'm already awake and I'm at my house doing nothing, I might as well be making money. My normal days are like Monday, Tuesdays, ever since I started here. Uh, I was always off on Wednesdays and Sundays. There came a point where like, mentally I just felt like I was going through a lot. So I went ahead and switched to Monday through Friday. Man, and my clients, they switched. Honestly, my Wednesday became my Saturday. Yeah. I get the, the fear of it, but that's dope that you made that switch and, yeah. and your clients stayed. Yeah, stayed they with stayed. Fade it down, now you're fading up. Now I'm fading up. Open up, notch by notch. Yep. Use the corner of the blade. Sometimes if you stay through into the system. Yeah, I feel like yeah, I feel like you do what is required, the clipper will do what is required, but I feel like you lose the art part of it. How long you been cutting? Almost ten years. I've been here at headlines for six and a half. So it's been a, it's been a journey, man. I never I never even wanted to be a barber if I'm being honest. What, what got you into barber? I was in Puerto Rico, man, and I was just shape up my boys and give them like two all around or four all around to shape them up, shape myself up. You know, we were just being stingy, not wasting our money at the barbershop. Just invested in some more clippers and that's it. We just went from there. It runs in the family too, so I figured it was in the blood, so why not give it a chance? We got Dominicans in here and we got Puerto Ricans in here. Yep. Who's the best barber? Dominicans Puerto Ricans? Man, I'm going to go with my people from the <laughs> island, man. No shots. My bad Perez, but <laughs> man, Puerto Ricans, man, we, we put in that work, man. Comment section about to go hey, crazy now. Hey, <laughs> my Puerto Ricans, man, PR 787. <laughs> but pretty much, yeah, I mean, I faded here, here, and then sometimes I'll be like, okay, that's that little piece that I got left, so I'll just stay there. And then, like I said, I'm going to keep detailing around, but. That's experience, though, like, you can do it however you want to. I'm yeah. Like moment, right? Yep. But I would recommend anybody doing it, obviously, fade one side, fade another, and or stack your whole lines first and go from there. Yeah. Yeah. 
have the tools that are gonna have you confident. Oh yeah. In you know, any situation, like if, if you're guessing that the masses might or not, but you have a tool that you know is gonna take mm -hmm. that line up, just, just grab that tool. I mean, and honestly, once you start cutting people, like it doesn't matter. You know, you know how it's gonna come out. You know their head. You know what clip is gonna work best on their head. After. Yep. But the detailers, I like. I don't like pushing in. I like going in as far as I'm gonna go. I like scooping out first, wow. and then I go in a little bit, give him a little baby head, and then I'll, I'll start to envision what I'm gonna do right here because he does get a little bit of color enhancement with that 245. Okay. I kind of make sure we make take all that C cup out. I see my clients almost as family sometimes because we got connects, you know, like. If I need like my tire change, like I got a mechanic, if I need my phone fixed, I feel like I got somebody like that. So I feel like, you know, us barbers, we got connections everywhere. Doctors, I mean, lawyers, I mean, we got everything. So is it you appointment only or you take walk-ins? I'll take walk-ins when I can or if I need to, but it's pretty much just appointment. But you started off both, right? Taking walk-ins yeah. So what I do for him, because he has some calories and whatnot, so he has a four on top, I'll do the three and a half just on this front piece right here. Okay, just help lay them hairs down. Okay. Stay looking in front of him, make sure you ain't pushing them back. And that's something that I asked him, you know, I'm like, you know, do you want me to keep it as natural as possible or do you want it to look as sharp as possible? Yeah. I'm gonna go from that Sean Cuts hair right, car. I'm gonna the Sean Cuts hair color car. I promise I didn't give this to him nope. right before I got here. Oh, <laughs> this was already here at my station. Oh, that's cool. Right there. So you like to tap the trigger? I do. Yeah. I do. I like spraying come almost like at an angle. I don't like coming straight. I want to make sure that the color enhancement falls into the hair, not just straight on it. That's just a technique that I like using. A little we'll brush, whatever we need to brush in right there. That's what I meant by detail. I want to make sure that we have no C cup. You know, that was what I really was focusing on. Go all the way down. Really fading it. But that's something you always want to lay flat. I don't want that overlapping. So it, it almost looks like you like those over the skeletons. I do. Really? I do. These are just. I do. Nah, bro. I do. <laughs> now I ain't gonna knock the skeletons. I do like the skeletons, but my my blade's a little dull, so I mean. <laughs> to go against the grain right here make sure it looks smooth as possible clean no stubbles get to this side sometimes i even go against the grain right here on that little peak create that first one come over here create my second one and then I kind of just envision it. It's gonna go right there. And I go kind of just turn everything else up. Y'all can knock me for my blades, but at least I got the little 245 red hold or something. <laughs> we here. This eyebrows out the way since I'm on this side. Wow, it's full service. That's it, he gets it all, man. Charge extra five bros or you just Nah, I just throw it in there, man. You know, I grew up in Puerto Rico, man, where like I never got charged for eyebrows, so it's just something that I want to keep. Seem right, right? I never, yeah. I never charge extra. I just feel like it's part of the haircut, you know. Yeah. Now, I don't knock nobody who does. Yeah. But for me, you know, just growing up, where it was always free in your haircut, I just felt like I had to keep that going. 
People, people almost don't believe me, but like, bro, nine out of ten of my clients oh, get yeah. die, bro. Absolutely, like nine out of ten. Yeah, I, I don't really like how that looks. I'm just gonna come back and just work on that. Like I said at the beginning, man, it's a little thing. You know, he may not notice it because, no offense, but he's not the artist. You know, so you, you got to be the one to. They're trusting you. They're sitting in your chair. Yep, yeah, that's it. Like, I try to do as much as I can, make the best name for myself. What's probably the, the most popular product that you that you use in this month? Uh, honestly, it's probably gonna be wax. 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 People like wax a lot. You know what I do here is I'll just really detail that front line up here. Or you can go like spray water sometimes. Yeah. Real quick. Yep. Sometimes I use a uh, hairspray, but I spray the hair. I would do water. That's the thing. People are gonna take a shower after this, and they yep. see those little loose hairs. Yep. They used to always happen to me when I grew up. I used to always have to do it myself. So. Yep. Yep. So right now, I'm about to show them the before. Damn it, Tito. Another one? All right, y'all saw the before on the haircut. You got the after. Instagram is all I use, jmed20, jmed20, that's it. Make sure you follow my boy. I yeah, appreciate you it, man. YouTube I'm going to do a YouTube. I'm going to do a YouTube. Hopefully by the end of 2021, I'll have one up. Right, so I'll have one up. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. No problem.